Welcome back to another video. My name is Chris Garahan. This is my beautiful wife, Hello. Cynthia. She's back again. So on this video, I'm going to cover how to get your arms looking really strong, looking really defined, whether you're a man or a female. Uh, this is a great exercise because it's going to get definition and tone in the arms. So your muscles really start to show. You know, some exercises you build muscle, but you're just, you're just stronger. You can't really see it. There's no vanity behind it. Other times, you know, there's a lot of vanity in an arm, but there's no muscle behind it. It's, it's extremely weak, it's overly skinny. This is gonna give you both. You're gonna get really strong, you're also gonna get really toned, and you're gonna burn a lot of calories and have, have a lot of fun, Yeah. because we're gonna be hitting some things. Now, you can do this with no equipment. Obviously, we have equipment, so we're gonna demonstrate it on that. And at the end, I'll show you, if you have no equipment, no access to any heavy bags, how you can do this workout as well but with that being said let's get started the so first things first is footwork how do you stand in boxing so what you do is you have your dominant hand which would if you're right-handed you, your dominant hand would be your right hand and your foot in the back so for example i'm right-handed so i'd have my right hand with my right hand in back if you're left-handed you'd have your left hand with your left foot in back and this is a traditional boxer stance um you know, Front toe pointing straight at your opponent. The back toes are almost at like a 45 degree angle. This gives you lots of movement, so you can move around, so you can pivot, swing, etc. So that's your stance. Stand like this, hands up, nice and tight, keep you from getting hit. Now to define the arms, what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch straight. With straight punches, what's gonna happen is you're gonna work a lot of the tricep, because when you hit something, you're using that tricep muscle. You're gonna extend and really elongate all the muscles, which is great, it gives you that kind of like Victoria's Secret type body. And you're gonna work the shoulders and the back, and the back of the shoulders, all in these straight punches. Boom, 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 boom. So don't even focus so much on speed in the beginning, focus on straight technique. Boom, 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 boom. If your elbows are tight and bent like this, this won't get the same workout for toning out the arms. Great workout still, but we're toning the arms today. So it's straight, boom, 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 boom. All right, so sit here, go. Boom, 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 boom. And Cynthia, keep going. As she's doing this, she's pivoting the feet with every single punch. For workout purposes, really over-dramatize this because this is gonna get the hips nice and worked out. It's gonna work out the core, and it's gonna put a lot more extension on your punches, which is gonna get you more toned arms. So do this for one three minute round. And as you're punching, it's inhale, exhale as you punch. And what we're looking for here, nice straight punches, inhales, exhales, nice footwork, stay in your boxer stance. And just, as you start getting more you know, warmed up, you start finding your rhythm, pick up the speed a little bit. So sit here, let's pick it up. Really good muscle, really important for the vanity, for looking good. So this, very simple, is you're almost gonna pretend like you're scooping sand with one of those shovels when you were a kid. We're scooping sand, scooping sand. Now we keep our hands up. With this, you can't, you can't have a more square footwork if you want. So as opposed to what I just taught you, you know, one foot in front, the other in back. This one, if you want for exercise demonstration, you can have more of a square position just like this, just so you get a more even workout with both arms. So again, we're gonna uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Now, a stronger uppercut, you're gonna, it's a little bit slower, and you're gonna bring the hand a little bit farther down. A faster uppercut, which we're gonna do both, you don't bring the hand as far down, you just go boom, 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 boom. And with every punch, make sure you're moving your hips. Boom, boom, you're pivoting your feet, because that's where all of the power comes from. So we're gonna start slow, and then pick up the pace. Cynthia, let's do it. So 
time-wise, again, do maybe one three-minute round of that exercise. And what I like to do is 30 seconds of power with 30 seconds of speed. So all together we'll do what, you know, three 30 second intervals of power, followed up with three intervals of speed. So it's 30 seconds. Bah, 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 bah. This one you're using a lot more muscle, but less oxygen, so you won't get as tired. Then 30 seconds into it, we speed it up. Bah, 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 bah. So you're using less uh, muscle, but more cardio, getting that heart rate going. Bah, 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 bah. Then you start getting tired, 30 seconds. Bah, bah, bah. Go back to power. As then round three, we're gonna mix it all up together. So I want you to follow this combination. One, two, three, four of the straight punches. Come in a little bit closer. Power uppercuts. One, two, three, four. Follow it up with four fast uppercuts. One, two, three, four. So in real speed, it'll look like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then step back out and start again. And again, we wanna go with one three minute round of doing this. Go as hard as you can, this is how you're gonna end the workout. Cynthia, let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, bump, 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 bump. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. So you're mixing up the entire workout. You gotta get the best of every single one. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you tone your arms through the beautiful sport of boxing. Cynthia, how are you feeling? I'm out of breath, but I feel good. It's amazing cardio and I feel really strong. Good. And you don't need a lot of it, right? You Definitely. go to the, a, a traditional gym to get that arm workout. You got to be there for an hour, hour and a half. We got two little girls. We don't have time for that. Yep. So this, literally you have nine minutes, uh, round one, uh, straight punches, round two, uppercuts, and round three, a little bit of both. Amazing workout. Yeah, stress First, reliever. That, oh, if you're a parent, for sure, stress <laughs> reliever. If you've got bills to pay, stress reliever. Make sure you get on this workout. And if you don't have any equipment, all you do is the same concept, except you could maybe you know hold something like uh, a bottle of hand sanitizer, put some weight into it, and that'll kind of give you uh, this not the impact, but more of a workout than just throwing punches in the air. So throw, hold something in your hand as you're throwing those uppercuts, you'll get that persistence in the, in the muscles. As you're throwing the straights, get more building the muscles in the shoulders. So just hold something if you don't have any equipment. Yes, yep. But anyways, you guys, that is the Bricks 81 workout of the day. If you like that, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more content. Check out my wife Cynthia, Instagram and YouTube. She's all over the place. And always remember the Bricks 81 mantra, attitude is everything. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.